So E. coli is used a lot in monitoring of water quality and of course water quality is a very hot topic here in New Zealand in terms of swimmable rivers, those kinds of things. Maybe people have heard of E. coli 0157 which has been a lot used a lot in food, uh, food safety scares. People have died from that um, but we also know that E. coli exists within the environment. There are environmental kinds and now that we are aware of this they may not be so bad to have around. They may not be so bad if you ingest them, for example. It's not the E. coli itself that's the issue. It's what the E. coli genome, the, the DNA, what it carries. Certain kinds carry bad toxins that cause problems. Other kinds don't appear to carry those toxins. So again, if you just use a fairly blunt view of saying, oh, it's E. coli, it's not looking at that higher resolution level to say that some of them have got these bad toxins, some of them don't. Does that mean that they're all bad or that the ones that don't have the toxins are bad? That's what we're still working on. But it looks like there is an association in that way. People care about their water. People care about the environment in New Zealand. Using techniques to show that things are safe, things are not safe is of vital importance to the New Zealand population who love to be outdoors.